this plumbing shit is like MacGyver shit, you know? You know, you think of MacGyver, half the shit I go to, I gotta fucking think of what, I mean, it's a compression fittings, slip fittings, this, that, this, that. this is, when you think of a doctor type shit, that's what a plumber is really like, you know? mm-hmm. You call a doctor, because you're like, not feeling good, right? You want a prescription. He's gonna look at you, stick out your tongue, let me stick this in your fucking ear, you know, look in there, and in the end, he's gonna write your prescription. That's all he's gonna fucking do. Or he's gonna fucking cut something. <laughs> it's sort of like this, this plumbing shit, you know. You call a plumber, because you need some hot water, you don't have enough pressure, there's a leak this time, to, you know, this is, you have to invite somebody, you don't invite a doctor into your home, you go to the doctor, you know, plumbers you invite into your most intimate spaces, and people are fucking dirty, <laughs> like I made a video, changing out somebody's nasty ass toilet, you know, or, or, or refurbishing, or resetting, or what I'm saying is, I'm down there in the nastiest shit, <laughs> Cuts all over me, digging out holes. This is. This is. I'm glad I became a plumber. I'm just telling you, this is only like one year and one month in, literally. Like one full year plus one month, literally. This is how long you've been plumbing, and then. I'm making the big bucks. <laughs> you can see me on the job, everybody else is doing the work, I'm just a video. I mean, I get, I get to do a little bit of work, the most important shit. What I'm saying is that the company knows shit's gonna go okay if I'm on site, making sure everybody's doing everything by the book. If the levels there, the levels there, the, the tape measure, whatever. I mean, I'm, I'm on top of that shit. You didn't even hear a guy. If you're gonna put this on Facebook, I want some money. I told you, these guys. <laughs> They want money. So don't get mad that I have the advertising on my plumbing videos and shit because I'm giving this money to whoever I'm working with, you know. Here's a bonus at the end of the month because YouTube only pays once a month. So whatever it is, it's sort of like when the boss gets rid of all the scrap metal, he spreads out all the money amongst all the plumbers. Like, you get $150 for the scrap shit. We just sold off the scrap guy. Here's your portion, you know. It's the same thing with the videos. When a check comes in from YouTube, I give it out to the guys who are in my videos and say, you know, they're all happy to let me film. Yeah, Nobody's gonna it. run back to the boss and complain, he's filming all my shit. Yeah. My boss would say, what? Is, is there something wrong with your shit? You know, are you criminal about this job we've given you? We're paying you X amount of money and you're worried about this motherfucker filming you? Mm-hmm. I just took X amount of thousands of dollars from this customer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In advance to do a ground rough from their fucking, you know, behind the wall of their bathroom, all the way out to the drain. We just dug up their whole fucking shit. You know, when I left, it didn't even look like we were there. We just dug up all this shit. I mean, I literally made sure it looked like we were never fucking there. Whether they got a permit or they didn't, you would never know this plumber came and dug up the whole fucking yard in three hours, got it all fixed in. You know, this is the type of shit a boss wants. Dude, you can do shit quick, smooth, get it on video. He could be sitting at home on a Saturday watching my video at the end of the day. I am the devil in the flesh, you know, or her, whatever. Whoever's monitoring me loves this shit I've been doing. How people don't film everything at work, I don't get it. If I was a salesperson, I'd show you. This is the script my boss gave me to to read. This is the list of customers my boss came in to read. And I was sitting at the phone. I'm calling from so and so. How many of this do you need? Do you need it? I would show you that it's just nobody does this. You're like, go ahead, call me crazy. Is Satan a plumber? Yeah. Just like Jesus was a what? A carpenter, yes, for sure. The guy you're standing here saying, you know for sure is a what? It's a plumber. I make a fucking plumbing video every fucking day. Now, if Jesus was here, do you think he'd be making carpentry videos every day? 
You need to do this with your tape measure, make a mark, otherwise your shit's gonna end up crooked. You're gonna have a crooked bed, a crooked counter, a crooked whatever. You're, you're just, you're a crook. You're crooked. You're, what I'm saying is, you, you know what I mean? People don't do this type of shit. You, you have to be the devil himself and, and see shit in such a way, like, I don't care if it's a police officer, the CIA, I don't care if it's whoever it is, as far as I see, is zero intelligence. You can't, nobody can step to me and say shit. I don't care who the fuck you are. If I don't drag you to the fountain booth, the Garden of Eden, you're gonna be dead by the book. That's like grandma, great grandpa, and everybody else in your family tree. It's natural order. You understand me? Now I'm telling you here, in the flesh, that I know that there is a way out. And to get there, you have to stand in truth with me and suggest that you intend to come back here after getting out and free everybody else. It's no soul left behind. Mm -hmm. You don't worry about yourself. I'm worried about every fucking other person out there. You know? Yeah. I don't want nothing. I don't want nothing from nobody. I just want to save people. I mean, come on. How is it possible? How is it possible? It's because I put up my blood. Now, it's like... The universe has totally taken possession of me. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm going to save the fucking universe with or without anybody. By the book, you know, if it takes one year, two years, like I said, I'm going to fucking live. I'm going to live for this cause. Everybody else is ready to die for a cause. Go ahead and fucking die for your stupid cause. Stupid little filthy cockroach. I'm going to live. It's like Lauren Hill, you know. You say you die for me, die. Why don't you fucking live for somebody? Yeah. Why would you die? I'm gonna die for you, baby. I would die for you. Why would you live for that bitch? Uh, wherever it is. Why would you live? I'm gonna live. Yeah. People are, I would die. Oh, it should be. Oh, I would die people. for you. Why would you live for me? Or, or me live for you, you know? It's, it's like, no. Everybody's so filthy and backwards, you know? It's like, my God. Mm -hmm. so, there's a cause, like people living for each other, you know? Like standing in truth. Being what is the truth? Fun. It's like heaven on earth. So, I don't mind you putting on those other wigs and shit, or whatever. Oh, it looks like, whatever color, whatever color hair, like you did that holy, I am the holy girl. Oh, I like that I just wanted to make that work. I was, look at this. Look at this woman, she's, well, it's not there. There we go, she's not. That's your girlfriend, that's your wife, that's your yeah, being the last one. No, it's just something I work with, you know. You know, on the side after work, we we do these videos, you know, and I break him into this flat Earth shit mm -hmm. and all the type of shit that we go over. I, I acclimate people quick. I can tell you that I'm not scared to acclimate people to the truth because I have a way of looking at people like, "Are you fucking stupid?" You know, eventually you hit enough knowledge, and you, it's like nobody can fuck with you. I don't care what it is I mean like I say I'm a plumber if you're another plumber and you're gonna sell me shit you know, I'm gonna get you on you're the greatest plumber in the world great let me get you on video yeah you know, you know I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna suck people in if you it's like you're either you're, you're gonna benefit whatever if you talk shit with me I'm gonna catch that shit oh you're the best plumber you know I like this pro slope thing people don't know how to use pro, pro, pro slopes that's so you if you have standing water in your shower when you shut it off, it's because it's lopsided. The person who did your shower didn't use a pro slope, so that all the water goes to the drain. Most people don't know how to use these things. This is impossible. They float this shit with concrete. And what I'm saying is that I've just been doing this like a year, and it's like it doesn't matter what company I go to. You know, I, I command whatever the fuck I want. I, Eventually, your day of reckoning is going to come up. My day of reckoning comes up day one. I go to a job site. You know, I get shit done. Most people, you're like, they're just not real plumbers. They, they've only done like service. They, they only cleaned out clogs or something like that. For them to do the new construction or a new heater or this or that, they're, that's beyond them. And what I'm saying is, I don't have a license, a plumbing license or anything like that. This is 
you know, I, I work for a real plumbing company that, you know, that has a license that sends me here, sends me there to do this and that. And what I'm saying is that I've only been in this for a year. This is impossible. It's fucking impossible. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it's impossible. Nobody, you can't pick up being a doctor in a year. You can't pick up being an electrician in a year. You cannot pick up being a plumber in a year. You, you just can't do it. If it, if it happens. It's, it's by divine order. I picked this up in a year because it's by divine order. Jesus was a fucking carpenter. Satan is a plumb. Because I'm going to plumb the earth with the living water. You know? I, I mean, I can see shit nobody can see. I'm just telling you this. This is not an accident. It's not a fucking accident. Anybody who thinks it's an accident, it's out of your, out of your fucking mind. <laughs>